Right, going to do Nigel Bain's interview now after losing the belt to Eubank, who he couldn't stand and he really thought it was going to be a pretty easy night's work. Um, but he's so fucking honest, Ben, and he's so humble, man. You know what I mean? He's like, no excuses, mate. The man beat me good, fair and square. He deserve it, man. He deserve it. Love Ben. Love them both. Ben Ryder's shot, you bank pissed blood for three days. Like it's fucking brutal. Another underground in the rush hour, it always does. And they do their best, the maturity boys, to keep them out, but uh, there are always people who shouldn't be in there. So I wonder what the boxing board of control was thinking now. They're, they're not club members yet of the WBO. Well, Nigel, your dreams have gone out the window there. Huh? No, my dreams haven't gone out the window. It's just that I thought Chris Eubanks is tougher than what I expected. He caught me in a, about the fourth round. In my eye, I couldn't see a thing. But I'm not taking nothing away from you, but what a tremendous fight he is. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. Well, you know, I don't know. Now I go home, sit down, decide what I'm doing. But um, I don't know what I'm on. Honestly, I don't know. The man beat me good. Did you did you underestimate him? No, I didn't. I over, over I overestimated him. <laughs> and, uh, I think you did underestimate him. I know that this guy was tough, tough. He gave him his respect, you know, and he caught me with some shots. But you know, good luck to him. You know, uh, all I can say really, you know, I I, I do detest Chris Evans, you know, more than anybody else. But you know, I can't knock him for the way he worked. And um, now I go home, see my daughter, visit Barbados. Nigel, I know it's very disappointing. Just talk about the fight for a moment. I mean, there were times when you were in a bit of trouble. Oh, a lot of trouble. Yeah, in that little bit of trouble. A lot of trouble. Well, yeah, of course I was. That's why I got stopped. <laughs> you know, a lot of trouble. But, you know, that's what you're going through. That's the second treat that I've had. And um, I don't know. No. You said uh, at the press conference beforehand that you're going to hang up your gloves if you lose. Is that going to be the case? You said you were going to. I want to, but my manager don't want me to. Last Gary, let me, ask that. let me go on to that quickly. First of all, Nigel Benny advised me. I'll tell you though, man, it was some fight, mate. Um, but yeah, you can see how gutted Ben is, but the man is just, he's just cool, man. He's just honest, mate. You know, he's like, yeah, give the fuck me up, man. He beat me good. 